lowering the cost of prescription drugs. Governor Ron DeSantis is trying to make it happen for Floridians. Right now, U.S. consumers pay some of the highest drug prices in the world. State senators are pushing prescription drugs from China without FDA inspection. Florida legislative staff says we pay as much as 30 to 190 percent more than other countries. Governor DeSantis is pushing for a new House bill that would drop costs by bringing drugs in from Canada. But this plan is now meeting heavy resistance. Political ads have begun flooding the airwaves, arguing this could bring dangerous drugs into the state. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning joins us live in studio tonight. Allison, this has become a controversial topic. Scott, it has. Critics are saying there are serious dangers that come along with importing drugs. For example, counterfeits, also not knowing where the drugs are really coming from. The ads say some could co come from China, but there is no mention of that in the bill. Senate Bill 1528 moving its way through the legislature. If passed, the bill would allow imported prescription drugs from pharmaceutical companies in Canada. The goal, reducing costs. Same drug companies sell the drugs overseas for far less than they sell in the U.S. And they're basically piggybacking off of government-funded research and ripping off the taxpayers. Everyone we spoke with agrees we pay too much for prescription drugs. Uh, what's really unsettling is today I could pay 200 for a drug and tomorrow I could pay 300 for the drug. The prices go up exponentially overnight, which is very disturbing. But some say reaching outside our border is a concern. If you can't ensure the quality of the drugs that are coming into the country, well, you don't know what they, they come from. They're sold from Canada. Are they sourced from Canada? State senators are pushing prescription drugs from China without FDA inspection. This new ad campaign attacks the proposed bill. Too many have already died from counterfeit drugs. Are you willing to take that risk? Tell your state senator. Governor DeSantis says the imports would only include FDA approved drugs from across our northern border in Canada. Ahead at 11, we'll hear from a local doctor who says the attack ads hold an empty argument.